Welcome, my story is my life part one. In 2017, I had a meeting over coffee near downtown Phoenix where I live, during which I was given the single most impactful piece of advice I've ever received. A waitress had stopped by our booth to refresh our coffee, apologizing quietly for the fact that an overripe homeless man was sitting at the counter. I reached out and patted her hand reassuringly and said, nothing to worry about here. I've been homeless and lived on the street and we're just fine. As she stepped away, my friend said, don't ever say that again. And then very seriously this time, he said, no, I mean it. Don't ever say that again. With a tone that said he was trying to save my life. You see, what he knew that I have yet to tell you is that I ended up living homeless on the streets of Phoenix for several months in 2016. His words hung uncomfortably in the air. Don't ever say that again. And for just a moment, my story stood before me as the enemy of my future. For just a moment, my story, the story I had given everything to earn, the story that defined what I had just become, was off limits. And yet the central truth of my story was that the worst thing that ever happened to me had become the best thing that ever happened to me. I wasn't ashamed of my story. I was proud of it. What had first crushed me has turned, had turned around and taught me, but I didn't know how to say that. I did not yet know how to tell a story that was so hard to hear in a way that focused on the lessons learned and not the battle fought. And so I simply said, okay. Please stay tuned for part two and press the plus sign for daily positivity.